This is everything you need to have a midwifery practice. This is the part of the birth bag that you open at the time of the birth. There are two chucks pads, one for the birth and one for after the birth for the bed, a mirror. There are, at the very bottom of the bed, a sterile kit for stitching. Also at the bottom, rarely used, amni hooks, one catheter, just in case, and a delete. Put it in a plastic bag, put it in the bottom. An Ambu bag. You can buy it for $25. You'll never use it. These are diapers, one for the mother, one for the baby, after the birth. This is a scale. It's It costs $3. It's a German scale on a hanging rope. Works perfectly. And a stethoscope to listen to the baby's heartbeat. Put it in a plastic bag, in your bag. Finally, you have a sterile, sterile cord cutting kit and a bunch of hats and clothes in case the mother doesn't prepare clothes for the baby. Two receiving blankets, a large plastic sheet with elastic edges so all the blood stays in here and there's no, no cleanup and that can be reused. In the second bag that you use during the labor, you've got a fetoscope and a measure, a tape measure, a wheel, a washcloth is always handy, non-sterile gloves if her water hasn't broken, sterile gloves if her water has broken, Tylenol, Tylenol with codeine, Percocet for pain relief, this is uh, castor oil and syringes, and most important, this is how you carry Pitocin, and here's a to, uh, ice to keep it cold, Pitocin and Methogen, don't go to a birth without uh, at least one of each of those, and then you'll be fine.